Warm greetings from Malawi and the Mollies. Living out here in, in rural Malawi, I can't imagine, I find it hard to understand what it must be like to be cooped up in a confined environment. Um, we have a big garden and Africa is our backyard. Uh, and our, our hearts go out to you um, in, at this time of uncertainty and that. Malawi finds itself at the tail end of this pandemic. Our schools have closed and at the translation project we're uh, just on skeleton staff and keeping things ticking over. Um, in, and in the midst of this pandemic, we're all trying to make sense of our own particular circumstances, new circumstances. The media is there bombarding us with information and speculation uh, about the tragic events that are unfolding in the world around us. And uh, we are left trying to navigate uh, our circumstances. Um, we are left with this challenge of how to we respond. Um, what, what is our responsibility um, without the luxury of certainty? Um, it, ta it brings me to a passage of scripture in Matthew 16, a pivotal point uh, in the gospel. And it's a, it's a portion of scripture that has both challenges in it, it has uncertainty in it, it's got bad news in it, it's, there's false teaching in it, and there is this prospect of calamity that's, that's just tied up in this passage. And see, Matthew 16, when the Pharisees approach Jesus, now to put it in context, Jesus has just fed the 4,000, and the Pharisees are there and saying, give us a sign. By what authority do you do this? Give us some proof. Give us the evidence. Um, we want to know by what authority. And the, the narrative unfolds in at the same time. We have the, the, the disciples and they set out across the lake uh, with Jesus. And on board they're having this squabble because they forgot to bring food. And Jesus is trying to bring this home to the, to the disciples. And, but it's a bit ironic because he's saying, and, and the text actually highlights it, he's saying, guys, we've, don't you remember we just fed the 5,000? We've just fed the 4,000? You're 12? You know? And, and there's this change in the disciples' hearts as they start to realize that Jesus is not talking about but the tangible, that is there, the, the hard evidence. He's starting to talk about their hearts. And, and while the, it highlights that Jesus is referring to how the world is out there looking for signs and evidence, and Jesus is looking for faith. That's what he's looking at. It's also the time when for the first time in the gospel that Jesus starts to unfold the upcoming events that will be taking place in Jerusalem. And in the perplexity of the situation, Peter even goes as far as to deny and say, Lord, this, this will never happen. And Jesus rebukes him um, and tells Peter these words. Peter, look at things from God's point of view not from man's point of view. In the midst of all of this, he throws in, and he asks the disciples, who does the world say I am? But then he makes it personal. And he asks the disciples and says, who do you say I am? That's really the crux of the whole matter. Who does the world say he is? Who do we, you and I, who do we believe he is? You see, the world is out there looking for answers. We believe. In the midst of uncertainty, we have certainty. We serve a risen Messiah, not a potential. 
We serve a risen Messiah, not a speculation, a risen Messiah. This whole dichotomy between signs and evidence and faith reminds me of a friend. Uh, he passed away a few months ago. His name was Solomon Shadrach. And uh, we all called him a major. And um, what I remember about, about Major was how he would greet you. Major would say, I know Umi Uli Uli Lelo. What that means is, how is your soul today? How is your soul today? Not how are your circumstances? Not how's your day been? How are you feeling? How is your soul today? The beauty is we have an answer. We are well. We do not have uncertainty, but we have certainty. In the midst of all this uncertainty, in the midst of all this perplexity, in the midst of uh, potential calamity, in the midst of all of that, we have hope. We have faith. Our Lord has risen. We are not destitute. Amen. Ana umi uli uli lelo. How is your soul today? Blessings from Malawi.